Hello. <coughs> Hello everyone. It is I, the Jack of All Trains, with the foul mouth, Common Urban. And I want to say thank you for everyone tuning in and watching the video and subscribing to my channel. Every every subscribe just goes to them. Buck. Every subscriber helps. And before I begin uh, my um, my uh, what do you call it uh, uh, before I get begin the video, I want to give a shout out to um, uh, um, it's actually a couple people I want to give a shout out to. Well, for one, I want to give a shout out to. Um, Quest for Hobbies for joining the Commodore's crew. He's actually working on a one four hundred scale Titanic model right now as we speak too. And um, I, you know, I joined. You know, I subscribed to him so I could watch his build. He subscribed to me to watch mine. So thank you for the subscription. And you know, I hope you enjoyed the videos, not just my build videos, but every other crazy shit I do. And finally I wanted to give a shout out to I Heart the Titanic or I Love the Titanic. It's their username. You know, they've been pretty interested in my videos, so thank you for joining. You may like this video. And we are going to be talking about the Trumpeter Titanic model once again. It has been released. It is officially out to the public. And there is a video that's blown up by model hobby fanatic or hobby model fanatic or something. He done like a 17 minute video on, on, on unboxing. I will, I've watched the video. I want to explain in depth of what I saw and what I think about the model itself. Since, well, the Commodore does not have a trumpet or Titanic sitting behind me to unbox. So I'm just going to have to do it best as I can do it. Watch someone else unbox it and then kind of figure out what's there. But before I do, I made another stop today at the bookstore. No, they did not have my book I ordered in yet, but I found this book, Titanic Destination Disaster, by John Eaton and Charles Haas. And this is the first edition for 1987, I figured. Oh, so now I got both books, because, you know, when I saw this, I thought I had Titanic Triumph and Tragedy. Well, turned out I had the revised and expanded edition of Destination Disaster. So I've got the 1987 first edition, and I got the 1996 edition. Fucking go figure, right? Ah, well. I've still got to get Triumph and Tragedy. I still got to get it, so... Whatever. Anywho, um, seeing this guy unbox the model of the, of the, the Trumpeter Titanic, and the first thing that gets you is just like any other Trumpeter 1 200 scale model ship, the box is absolutely fucking huge. Now, anybody who's ever unboxed the, the Mini Craft Titanic, its box is massive too, but uh, comparing to this, the other one is huge. I would imagine that fucking thing would... I bet if I was to set that box on my bed, that box would take up the entire length of the bed. That's probably how big that box is. Probably from here to down to there. It's fucking huge. <coughs> I'd say it's probably about that high. You know, about, about yay wide, about yay high, and probably about yay thick. And on the front of the box, it has that really, really gorgeous um, uh, depiction of the Titanic, which during the time of day that he painted it, it's wrong, like I've said before. But then something caught my attention, though, on the box. And, hang on just a moment, I'm looking on there. Okay. Sorry, I was checking the time. Anywho, um, something caught my attention, because at the top of the box in the corner, it says, the Queen of the Ocean, Titanic. And I thought to myself, 
where in the fuck have I saw that before? I'm thinking, they did not come with that for, on their own. I remember seeing that, and then I thought, you know what? And then I looked at my poster. They got it from the original advertising of the Titanic, even down to the font that they put on the box for Titanic. The Queen of the Ocean Titanic. This is what was on the box. See? That exact same fucking font of the, for the name Titanic is on the box. I'm thinking, them sneaky motherfuckers. I guess they're really trying to, you know, trying to reel in the Titanic enthusiasts because, well, only a Titanic enthusiast would be like, oh, duh, that was on the poster for the return trip. That fucking never happened. So, anywho, you know, he looked at the box, and on the front it says, you know, on the corner it says, the, you know, the Titanic honor and glory, and how Trumpeter thanked them, and the entire Titanic community for helping, you know, with revisions of the kids. And then, of course, he and this guy, I can't remember his name, I'm sorry if you watch this, uh, I'm sorry about not remembering your name, but, anywho, him and his buddy, they took into the box and they slid it off. And just like in true trumpeter fashion, inside the box was a shit ton more boxes. Just like any big 1-200 scale model ship, you have a shit ton of boxes in there. And uh, luckily I paid attention. There is, there is exactly six boxes in there. In that, there's six. There are six boxes. You have um, A, B, and C, which their their blue box is just like any trumpeter mall kid is, and they have the picture of the Titanic. They've got profile drawings of it, and the name Titanic is in that same font as it is on the main box. It says Titanic, and each of them boxes contain you know the different spur sprues with parts and shit relating to the ship and you know and then of course uh, like you know box A was a bunch of it box B I don't remember I think it had the photo etch in it I think or may have been box C I don't know but the first three boxes are like all your all your sprues of all your parts and then box D was this long flat box and it showed a top view of the Titanic. And that was your bigger deck pieces like your A deck, your boat deck. And another thing I noticed too like your deck houses. They were already solid. They you didn't have to put them together for multiple pieces like the mini craft or the Academy one behind me, you would have to. So that's a plus. And there's no windows in the window, there ain't no window frames in the windows. Those are photo ads you drop in. That's a nice little detail. Yeah, that's nice. <coughs> Fuck. Anyway. And in box E, this little box, and it has a picture of the model on it. And that that's the box that's got all your LED shit for the lighting. Yeah, that's right, LED lighting and shit. Um, but to really show, the, to really make that lighting work, you have to drill all the fucking portholes out of the hall. Because they're, they're filled in. You have to take a little hand drill and drill all the fucking portholes out, which, if I had it, I would do it. Just to make it look fucking better. Anywho, but finally the last box. It's not even a box, it's this long thing that had a lid on it. He flops it open and behold, you have this massive fucking hall. <coughs> I mean, massive fucking hall. And this thing is absolutely detailed as fuck. It's got, it's got all the plating. It, it, the plating pattern's exact. It's even got the plating pattern on the bottom. On well, most models of Titanic, the bottom is smooth. That one's not. That one's got the plating and shit on the bottom. It's got all the little holes for the discharge ports. It's got all the portholes and the doors in the exact directions. 
my wind trumpeter asked for corrections for the for the model by the Titanic community. They fucking listened, cause the prototype model, from what I thought the prototype model, and from the shit I've seen with the final finished product, they really put their work into it. Like the hull, they fixed the hull. It has this curvature to it, like it's supposed to, not like what it was originally. And from yeah, it's a, it's definitely a fucking beast of a model. It's it's definitely a model I want to get. I definitely fucking want to get this damn thing. It's definitely going to be a project that I would love to tackle. And it's not all of it's out yet. There's still a detailing kit coming out in March. It's going to be about roughly $180, $200. And it's being made by Pontos. So Pontos is making a detailing set for it. And it's coming out in March. And it's going to be roughly $180. And there's another company called uh, Scale Colors. They're a company here in the U.S. And they made a paint set with all the colors you need to paint it. Including White Star Buff. I'm thinking... I've got to get this paint set because I like to buy the paint set now because even though I don't have the trumpeter, I can still use that paint set. Oops, on it fell over. That's what fell over. It was my Kennedy model that fell over. Hmm. Anywho, I can use that paint set by scale, scale color to paint that one with so I might get it I might buy the paint set so I can paint that model with it so and then later down the road I'll have it for the big trumpeter one so yeah but my, what are my views from what I saw the model and seen of like I saw he didn't the one thing I didn't like um Oh, it's that long. One thing I didn't like, he didn't show the instruction book. He only showed the front and the back. I like looking through the instruction book. And, you know, the painting guide for the model is just a sheet, like every other trumpeter model. Kind of generic. But, you know, me knowing the Titanic so damn well, I don't need no paint chart. So, but yeah, overall, trumpeter did an amazing job. I give the model two thumbs up. And uh, hopefully whenever, if I can ever get me one, I'll do my own style of review. The same as Commodore Urban's review with cursing and all. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section down below and I'll get with you. And as always, if you're new to the channel and you like what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Become part of the Commodore's crew and never miss another video. And until next time, this is Commodore Urban. Saying have smooth seas and clear skies. Happy sailing with you and God bless you. Until next time, uh, see you later. Bye bye.